Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another edition of Literary Sports Show. I'm your host, Eldridge Bell, of course. We just got done with NABJ Minneapolis 40th anniversary, and guess who I run into? Rob Parker, the man himself. No way, no how. Hit us one time with it. That's right. Come on, Eldridge. <laughs> no way, no how. You know it. Absolutely, absolutely. So, our topic today that we're going to let it rip on, the 49ers, and there's just the heck of an offseason they've had. Alden, Alden Smith got released uh, a couple days ago, actually yesterday. What are your thoughts on that first? And then we'll talk about the state of the 49ers. Well, I mean, obviously the 49ers decided that they, they couldn't deal with any more off-the-field stuff that's going on. So, you know what? At some point, that outweighs a, ta a player's talent on the field because of the off-the-field stuff. And just the way the culture of the NFL now, what's going on, this is par for the course. So if you're not willing to abide by laws and, and, and keep your nose clean, you're probably going to be out of a job in the NFL. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. He had so many chances, especially last year. He got suspended for nine games. And then the very next offseason, he gets in trouble with a DUI hit and run. So, obviously, yeah, they have to do that. If you're Trim Balky, you have to do that. He's got enough chances. Now, Tom Sula, first-time head coach. You lose Patrick Willis. You don't know about Navarro Bowman if he's going to come back and be his all-pro self. You lose, <coughs> excuse me, Justin Smith. You lose talent on the offensive line. It seems like players left and right. You lose out uh, uh, Chris Borland. You're just losing quality players, all pro players. How does he overcome this kind of this kind of loss of talent? And now he just lost a uh, pro bowler in Alden Smith. It looks like a disaster written all over it. First of all, you know, first year head coach, and then to lose that much talent, you know, you lost Jim Harbaugh too, who did a lot there. So the 49ers are in rebuilding mode. And I don't think maybe some of the pressure is off because you can't expect much from the 49ers because of the talent loss. And maybe it helps them out in the long run because people have so little expectations for the 49ers coming up in uh, the 2015 NFL season. So he might, it actually might ease him into the job where there's not as many expectations. But still, any coach would hate to lose that much talent. I, I kind of agree with you on that because no one's expecting much from this team now. You just lost too much talent, like you just said. What's a reasonable, what's would be considered a success for this kind of uh, for this kind of loss of talent in this team. Five and eleven, six and ten. I mean, I, <laughs> four and twelve. Something, you know. I mean, mm. I think it's going to be real tough. I think something like that. If they were to win five or six games, I think people would understand with the hope that the next year they could go eight and eight and then take off from there. So I would say five or six wins max. Due to the loss of talent that they've had, that, that, that they've lost. How many how many years does he get a pass, Tom Sula? I'm talking about. I think a couple of years at least. I think he's got two years where people will say, "Okay, let's see what you got. Let's see if you can rebuild it, add some other talent." And then after that, after your third or fourth year in the NFL, people want to see some results. I always say, pro sports has a short menu: wins and losses, and that's all that matters. Do you uh, do you think if he makes the playoff, if he if he goes, let's say sub 500 for the next three years, but the do you think he'll get a chance to be a fourth-year coach, or that's, he's out the door? It just depends on the division, what else is going on. You know, are they buried, and there's no way they can catch the division leaders. It just depends how far out they were. Maybe the division was bad, and so they only finished two games out. You know, it just depends. So I say three years will probably be the minimum. They'll let, give them an opportunity, especially with all this talent loss. And then after that, I think all bets are off after three seasons. I got to ask it. I already know the answer. I would say no, it was a mistake, but was it a mistake in your eyes to let go of Jim Harbaugh? Um, I, I think it was, but, you know, I mean, people outgrow situations and circumstances, and apparently ownership decided that they wanted to be the stars and not their football coach, and so that happens. And the other part, and I can't knock the owners, they had a couple of opportunities, uh, you know, to, to win the ultimate prize, and they didn't get it done. So I could see where they could say that this ship has sailed, and they want to move forward. And maybe Jim Harbaugh is a little too quirky and hard to deal with. All right. Thank you so much for doing the show with me. Rob Park, oh, you guys. My pleasure. Hit us one time with your catchphrase. Come on. No way, no how, you shouldn't be watching. <laughs> Thanks so much, big guy.